Okay, so let's talk about the new show Fallout, which is going to be on Amazon Prime. It's coming a couple of days early, so if you want to check it out, it's definitely out by the time you're probably watching this review. And I definitely do recommend it 100%, but we'll get more into that of why. Before we get further into the review, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers, about to head 29K. Once we do that, we have a giveaway in time for the 30K run up. But let's talk about Fallout on Prime. We had the chance to watch this early, and let me tell you, this is one of those shows that we have been anticipating. Video game adaptations for the most part have never really gone and hit the mark I feel just recently we've been getting a couple of them that really do a good job Mario Sonic The Last of Us but I think Fallout is that first show that really finds the sweet spot of making a video game adaptation that not only the fans will be proud of but newcomers alike will enjoy as well because some of the things in video game adaptations is that you can get lost in them, especially if you don't know much about the lore and all of that. And I was very skeptical with Fallout because I think it's such a dense lore based game that you can definitely not vibe with if you're not all there with the game and the mechanics and all of that. But here they break it up good and I'll talk about that. So this is created by Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan. Jonathan Nolan also directs some of the episodes here. You have Ella Purnell, Aaron Morton, Walton Goggins starring. Ella Purnell plays a vault dweller named Lucy. And you have Aaron Moden playing Maximus who is a squire from the Brotherhood of Steel. Walton Goggins plays a ghoul and that's pretty much dividing fallout into what it is in the game as well because you have these different factions and these different groups there's a ton of other ones as well but i believe those are the main ones that people that play the video games really follow i don't really play the game and i've never really played it but i have seen bits and parts of it some of my family enjoys it and so i didn't come into this not knowing anything about fallout i did know pretty much the basics of it but i will tell you it does a great job for a newcomer at explaining this world telling you how we got here all of that and I think that that was one of the things I was wondering if they would be able to pull off the story in itself is pretty simple I feel you follow 220 years into the future after the world had an apocalyptic nuclear exchange where pretty much everything was destroyed and there became a wasteland and you follow these three characters as they are in the search for the scientist that holds a key that could change everything and that's all I'll tell you because I don't really want to give too many spoilers for the show because I think it's great to see the story unfold and I really do think it's one of those shows that does a great job at storytelling as well. The Purnell's character is the protagonist for sure. Lucy is this vault dweller who all their life they lived in the vault. They've never gone to the wasteland. They have these promises of what it's going to be like once they get it all situated. They have this character that's very optimistic and has this sense of the world is good deep down. Once they get out of the vault and they go to the wasteland quickly find out that it is nothing but that it is a wasteland that is filled with so many horrible things and you see this character of Lucy go through this whole like identity crisis because all of their life they had been built on these lies she says and you see as their character arc goes through so many things and I thought it was so great I think Ella is such a great actor especially in Yellow Jackets and now to see them in Fallout you see how this actress does a great job at portraying all of the conflicting emotions and trying to deal with these confusing feelings. Walton Goggins character of the ghoul was a character that was so sinister so dark as well and almost just a badass at points when you see them with the music that's played over then and their character is much more than just a ghoul and I won't get into it but I like I said all of these characters have great arcs the ghoul included. Aaron Morton's character of Maximus who is a squire for the Brotherhood of Steel also really comes in and delivers so many emotional beats as well and I think that these three characters really did a great job at fleshing out this world and really showing their perspective that was so different from the beginning of the show but at the end they all have the same goal and the same like wants. The rest of the cast as well here including uh, Moises Arias really surprised me as well who plays Lucy's brother. I'm always excited to see Moises Arias and more things. I think they're a great actor and I'm excited to see more of them. Now the world and everything of Fallout that's what everybody's wondering. Did they get it right? Did they do just enough fan service? Are they gonna lose newcomers? Like I said at the beginning they do a great job of balancing everything. There's some moments in here where you're gonna spot easter eggs if you're a fan of the show. I have my partner who loves Fallout, who loves everything about these games and knows about it, and they were catching all of these things. Myself, who I feel like if we rate like on a one to 10 on how knowledgeable we are in Fallout with 10 being the highest, I'm probably at a two. I don't really know much about it, just the basic premise 
of it. And I still found myself being intrigued and invigorated by this world that was being laid upon me. Like it is just beautifully made, honestly. So I'm excited to see what people are going to think about it because I really do think this is going to be one of those shows that's going to be a hit. I could definitely see this going for a couple more seasons. The storytelling in here was what really got to me because it really does a great job at the first episode setting up the world setting up these characters and from there we're flying we're going through these adventures we're meeting the wasteland seeing the different characters all around seeing how humanity has adapted how they've cracked how they've lost how they won small victories here and there huge defeats all of that and this is a world that you just want to explore more like i just wanted to play the game after i was done as well because i want to see more of it they do a great job at also putting small details side quests and all of that that fans of the game would enjoy but also I think that newcomers would love to find out more about and the designs of the characters as well are very spot on to the video game without it feeling too much like a cosplay or anything like that. I think that the, sometimes with video game adaptations they try too much to be like the game and they try too hard to follow it beat by beat whereas Fallout takes the basic archetype of the game and just fills it with their own story as well. So I'm excited to see what they would want to follow this up with because I think for the most part they have a big Big hit here so very very excited about this so overall I think that they did a great job with the casting I think that the story in itself is rich it's incredible the set designs are jaw dropping and you are going to enjoy this whether you love the game or you've never even heard of Fallout till today this is the show to watch honestly one of the best things to come out of 2024 and can't wait to see where the future goes from here but let me know your thoughts and opinions on fallout the show if you're excited if you've already watched it did you enjoy it as much as i did if you didn't that's cool let me know why you did it in the comments down below but as always that's going to do it for us we are covering cinemacon all week so we've been putting up a ton of videos, a ton of articles. You can follow us everywhere where you want where to check those out on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, or here on YouTube. Really would appreciate you subscribing. We're about to hit 30K, so super excited about that. But I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe, stay positive.